guys and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be creating a purple daisy using both the chain pull technique and the acrylic swipe technique. I've sketched out a rough outline of the flower and now I'm just going to be using a few different blues to create a background. I'll list all the paint colors and ratios and links to supplies in the description box and I'll also indicate what colors I'm using as I'm working. Now that the painting is dry, I'm painting the flower white just to make sure I don't end up with any you know, of the background colours showing through into the petals. Okay, I've given that some time to dry. To do a chain pull, you need to have a base colour down so that you're able to pull your paint along. So I'm laying down some white for my base coat. Now I'm adding the colors that I'll use to create the petal. If you've watched my other videos, you'll know that I suggest using a fairly thin layer of paint for the base color. And it's also helpful for the consistency of the paint that you use to be fairly thick. So with my Artist Loft paints, I use a ratio of one part paint to two parts float roll. To create the petal, once you've laid down the chain, you just gently pull it along towards the center of the petal. When you do a chain pull, the paint is almost always going to collect whenever you drag it along. So I just use one of these little goodies to help suck up the excess paint. The other thing you can also do you know, when the paint starts to accumulate is to just slow down the speed at which you're pulling the chain along. And that will give the paint a bit more chance to move along and accumulate less. Off to the side, I always pop my chain into a jar of water so that I can easily wash the paint off later and reuse the chain. Oh dear. <laughs> So that's what happens when you don't have enough base color, you know, base color paint down. I thought I'd put down a bit less white so that I, it would accumulate a bit less, but it turns out that I actually put down just too little. Um, but that's okay because I'm just going to wipe it off and then I'll, I'll try it again.
With the petals dry, we're ready to do the swipe to create the center. For that, I'm going to swipe over two custom colors. One is a mix of white and orange paint, and the other is a mix of white with just a few drops of yellow and a few drops of orange. Both of these colors are mixed four parts paint to eight parts Floetrol to one part water plus one drop of silicon oil. To swipe, I'm using Brilliant Yellow that's mixed four parts paint to eight parts Floetrol to three parts water and it doesn't contain any silicone. So here we go with a quick close-up. I love the color combo with the blue background, the purple flower, and the really bright yellow center. Overall, I'm very happy with how it turned out. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you again next time.